What's up tubers? This is Superdell and today I got another video for you. Now today's topic we'll be talking about expandable storage for your Nvidia Shield. Now some of you might say, well what the heck is expandable storage? Anytime you add any type of external device such as a hard drive, a thumb drive, which I thought I had one over here, which I do. Uh, I got one somewhere over here. Oh, it's in my drawer. Sorry about that. A thumb drive, as you see right here. Um, or you can have one of these little dongle. All right, this is the one I'm going to use in my demonstration today. Now, um, the shield I have is 3 gigabyte RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, give and take um, after um, initial setup, you're probably going to be down to between 10 and a half and 11 gigabytes of storage. Now, when we say expand storage, we want to basically um, expand the internal storage. So with one of these devices, and make sure you pick out USB 3.0. All right, and one way you know about USB 3.0, of course, it says it at the top. Also, like this one right here, it'll have the color blue in it, you know, inside of it. That's how you know. All right, that's how you know if you got a USB 3.0, or if, when you buy it, you'll see USB 3.0. All right, so today's video, I'm definitely going to show you. I already have the shield plugged up, ready, and we're going to add this storage to it. So, with that being said, I uh, hope you guys like the video. Definitely thumbs up the video. Um, like the video, share it. And then if you want to be a subscriber to my channel, which I think is one of the greatest channels for cutting the cable cord, um, definitely click that subscribe button. All right, so let's go and get it started. All right, let me move this right quick. Let's go to the shield as you see right there on your screen. And I'm going to add this storage. We're going to do this in real time. All right, let me turn it around. Okay. I'm just keeping an eye on it. I see it blinking red. I plugged it in. So I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. So let's go down to settings. Settings is right here. Okay, let's click on settings. Let's go down to storage and reset which you see right here okay let's click on there and here it is you have um, scan disk yours may say USB uh, unfortunately let me see something I thought mine would say something else let me I might have used this one before all right let's see something All right, so both of them saying um, uh, removable storage. Yours may say USB, something like that. But once, whatever it is, uh, whether you have a hard drive, a external hard drive, or a flash drive, or one of these little USB 3.0 dongle um, flash drives, just go into, um, if it come up USB, it come up USB. If it come up the name of your device, let's just click on it. And what we're going to do, erase and format as device storage. All right. So click on this. All right. Click on erase and format as device storage. All right. Then you come over here and read this. You're going to get this notification. And it says this requires the USB drive to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting, this drive will only work with this device. Formatting erases all data currently stored on the drive. To avoid losing the data, consider backing up whatever device you have. So, meaning if there's something, if you was to use this, right? And I know I got a lot of um, um, videos on here. Get it, plug it into the computer, and move everything to the new device. And then you plug this in. So, it's just basically telling you to back it up. All right, because once we click format, it will make everything disappear. All right, so let's click format. I know I don't have anything on it. It's brand new. And so we're going to format it. 
Shouldn't take that long. Okay. Now it's over here. We got a notification that says move data to complete setup. It says Shields need, Shield needs to move some data to scan this USB drive. Scan this USB drive will not be usable until the data is moved. So let's move now. So I need you to click on this one right here. Move now. It's very easy, y'all. It's just simple. You know, there's all type of, you know, um, storage. You can get a one terabyte. You can get a 128 gigabyte. You can get a, another 16 gigabyte. You can do it all. All right. So as you see right here, you see my numbers changed a little bit, all right? And it's letting me know that everything um, is going to come over to the scan disk. And the internal storage will be remain the same, all right? So once you go up in there, uh, if I wanted to just reverse everything and um, clean it out, I can go here, okay? All right, so now if I go up to internal storage, internal share storage, which is right here if I click on it and it says migrate data to the storage you know that means I'm, I want to send it back to the internal storage and that's what I don't want to do I do not want to send anything back to the internal storage I want to continue to use the scan disk as the internal storage so when I click in there as you see is already set up and ready to go it's telling me i got 28 gigabytes left all right so that's pretty much it y'all that's how you set it up you are officially done you can go over to es file explorer and check if you want but it's no need for that it's already set up and you are smooth selling all right if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you think i missed anything let me know leave it in the comments or you can definitely go over to my email ask superdale tv um, at gmail.com and let me know and we'll go from there so salute to everyone if you're not a subscriber definitely click that subscribe button and uh, the rest is history thumbs up the video share the video and that's pretty much it y'all and we'll continue to grow all right i'll talk to y'all later salute to you i am out peace